On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate your level of happiness? It turns out the way you answer that question could depend on if you live in a big city or a smaller community. Travis Prasad has more. A new study by UBC and McGill University finds Canadians living in small towns are happier than their counterparts living in big cities. Researchers looked at two national surveys that asked Canadians to rank their happiness on a scale of 1 to 10. Responses ranged from 7 to 8.96, but the research found the least happy places in Canada are at least eight times more populated than the happiest places. In other words, the smaller the town you live in, the happier you are, and it's due in part to a better sense of community. I used to live in Toronto, and uh, I only last two years because it was so busy and I think people don't really interact. Usually people in big cities from my experience are less, uh, especially in Vancouver, I'm from Montreal originally, but they're less inclusive of others. The research found the happiest places have the shortest commute times, 15 minutes versus 22 minutes in cities like Vancouver. It also found the happiest areas have less people spending more than 30% of their income on housing. And while people in big cities tend to have higher incomes, it seems money can't buy happiness. It's the question, right? Like, what do you what do you want in life? What is happiness for you? Is happiness for you having a house, a family, maybe some property? Well, great. Go to a small town. You have that there. It's easier to achieve. I think you can find happiness within yourself, whether you live in metro or whether you're a country bumpkin. Now, the study found each of the big cities ranked roughly the same when it came to how unhappy they are, but there was one big town that was a little happier than the rest, and that was Quebec City. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.